What is good with y'all today, man? It's Cole Brown, and today I will be talking about four myths. I constantly hear, you know, people be hitting me up on Snapchat, on Instagram, and yeah. So if I'll probably just send you this video because I, I constantly hear these questions or people think certain ways. Like, let's just let's just end that now, okay? So number one, targeting body fat. You can't target your body fat. Um, it really depends on your genetics. I know y'all done seen skinny fat people, you know, a dude might have skinny arms, skinny legs, have a gut, have a double chin. And then you see other people that got fat all over their body. Or you see some dude, they, their upper body be fat and then they legs, no fat. You know, so it really depends on your genetics. It really depends on your genetics where your fat goes. And it's gonna be the same way when you lose it, you know. You might lose all the body, you might lose all the fat off your body and still have a double chin. You might lose all the fat off your butt before you lose the fat off your gut. You can't just target your stomach. And you know, a lot of companies, a lot of influencers, they'll sell like waist trainers and stuff like that and have you thinking, oh, I can tar target the fat off my gut. Or like people selling ab rollers and stuff like that. Like, oh, if I do this 10 minute workout every day, I can get my waist thinner and all that all that crap like no like you just gonna have to lose fat and your genetics are gonna determine where it comes from so you might you might lose the fat off your butt before you lose the fat off your gut you know that's just how it is you might you you can't just target the fat on the back of your arm like no it's it's just a dice roll with your genetics really and um number two like different diets, you know, they everybody be trying to push these diets like keto, um, carnivore diet. It's, it's a whole bunch of stuff nowadays. Like, man, the best diet I done said this before, and I'll keep saying it is a balanced diet that you can stick to. You know, make sure you get your fruits, your vegetables, make sure you eat your carbs, like, make sure you get enough protein. Just a well balanced diet, man. That's the best thing for you. And same thing, like a lot of companies, a lot of influencers, they'll push a certain type of diet to kind of like stand out. They'll be eating raw meat, they'll be eating a whole bunch of meat to really stand out from the crowd and I get it, but it's like, a lot of times you don't need to do all that. For majority of people, it's gonna do more harm than good. So just keep that in mind, you know, a lot of people do stuff for show. You don't have to fall into that crowd of, oh, I wanna be on a carnivore diet or oh, I wanna do like, you don't need to go keto, man. Like, for majority of people, it's not gonna be worth it. Number three, man, like, so many girls be saying it's like, oh, I don't wanna get too big, I don't wanna get bulky. Like, you don't have it in you. You don't have it in you to get that big. Your test levels ain't that high. Like, you're not gonna build muscle, especially upper body wise. I done seen some girls with some big legs, I ain't gonna lie. But, you know, y'all have more potential down there. Upper body wise, you're not gonna get jacked. And if you are trying to get jacked, it's gonna take you a very long time just cause you don't have it in you. Especially if you ain't taking stuff, like, nah, it's not gonna happen. And um, the last one, I hear this a lot, you know, oh, if you didn't sweat, if you're not sore, you didn't have a good workout. That's 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 a bunch of crap, you know. I done had a lot of great workouts that I weren't so, that I never got sore from, and I done had a lot of good workouts that I never sweat from. If somebody's really fat, they gon' they could walk down the stairs and start sweating. Does that mean they had a go, good workout? No, it just means they're really out of shape. So y'all keep that in mind, man. You don't have to be sore. Once you start working out from the jump, you probably will be sore. But after over time, like it kind of goes away. Certain days I'm not sore. Sometimes I get sore, but that doesn't determine if it was a good workout or not. You know, a good workout is you constantly going up in weight, you going up in reps and you seeing results. Um, and some days you might not feel it, you still get the work done. Like that's still a good workout, man. So y'all don't let people tell y'all, if you ain't sweating, you ain't working. If you not sore, you didn't do enough. Or, you know what I'm saying? You might have a complete crap workout and still be sore. Like that's not a good indicator of a good workout or a bad workout, you know? so. I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Make sure to like, comment what y'all want to see next, and subscribe. I appreciate y'all for watching the whole video, and yeah.
I'm out.